Hi gang, today I have got a really satisfying but really quick cleaning video for you. We are going to be doing some more cleaning under the microscope and today we are taking on the washing machine. areas to look out for when it comes to gunk and grime within your washing machine is the rubber seal. This will collect lots of old soap scum and naturally within the washing machine, because it's washing dirty clothes, particularly if you use a lot of laundry detergent, this can kind of build up in and around the washing machine. What then happens is bacteria and mold begin to thrive. So you wanna make sure that the rubber seal is really clean because this is a dark, moist environment. This is an ideal place for bacteria and grime. Another place you wanna pay attention to are any kind of crevices like this within your washing machine. So to the naked eye, you won't see that it visually looks that dirty, but there will be a lot of buildup of kind of dirt and grime that gets trapped within these crevices. And the last part I wanna draw your attention to is the actual drawer of the washing machine. So again, because this is a closed space, it's dark within there as well. You might find that from time to time, particularly if you're not running a hot wash regularly, that you get a buildup of mold within your top drawer. We do not want that there because it is then being transferred onto our clean washing. So in order to have our clothes perfectly clean, we want to maintain a clean washing machine. machines is we're going to go in with a cleaner to begin with. Today I am going to be using the Method Multi Surface Cleaner. So we're going to give this a whirl. We're going to spray this around the rubber seals inside the drawer and also on the outside to get in the crevices. This is going to clean away any built up soap scum, any grime that's there. This should, fingers crossed, get rid of it very nicely. our cleaner onto our washing machine we're going to leave it there for about five minutes just so it can penetrate any of the dirt or the grease and grime that is lingering within our washing machines while that is taking place and doing its work let's head over to the sink we're going to fill this up with some dish soap and with that we are going to go ahead and wash our entire drawer out so it's really important to do this you should be doing this quite regularly the actual drawer of your washing machine these are the places where you will get a build up of your fabric softener or your detergent if you're putting your detergent in the drawer and we just don't want it lingering there for really long periods of time because over time it's not gonna be cleaning your clothes efficiently for one, and for two, it's gonna end up stinking and it's gonna put more pressure on the washing machine and we do not want that here, my friends. Now we're gonna move on to the front of our washing machine. So we don't actually wanna spray directly onto that. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the method cleaner again, but we're gonna spray onto our cloth and then we are just going to wipe over the front of the washing machine. If you find that you've got any kind of um, scuff marks on your machine, go ahead and pull out a magic eraser. These work so well to um, 
remove any scuff marks that are on the machine. If you haven't got a magic eraser and you've got SIF paste or like a cream cleaner, go ahead and use that instead because that also works really well. You might have to scrub a bit harder, but any scuffs on your machine will eventually lift. Let's move on to the drawer. You've got two options at this point. If your drawer looks mould free, you can go ahead and just clean it with the cloth that you're using to do your washing machine. If you can see a lot of mould within your machine, particularly at the top of your washing machine, go ahead and get a big car sponge. So I'll show you in a second what this is going to look like. And on that car sponge, you want to soak it in baby sterilizing fluid. So pour the sterilizing fluid on neat. You don't want to dissolve it. Pour it on neat to the sponge. So the sponge is wet with the sterilizing fluid. And then you're going to push that inside your drawer and you're going to leave it there overnight. I know this is a bit annoying for those of you that want a quick fix, but I promise you tomorrow morning you will wake up and all the mold within your machine will be gone and the drawer will be pristine clean if you follow this method. For those of you that don't need to do that, we're just gonna carry on doing what I'm doing here and just giving it a really thorough wipe down. This is just to loosen up any of the detergent. So on mine, there was lots of kind of detergent and softener stuck here. Like I said earlier, we don't want that there. We wanna get rid of it because this is what's gonna cause the machine to smell bad and it's gonna be a breeding ground for bacteria. This is what I'm talking about when I speak about the car sponge. You want something that is this size, you can pick these up really, really cheap. And then just go ahead and, like I said, slather it in sterilizing fluid, baby sterilizing fluid on the top, shove it in so that it's got contact with the top of your drawer and then go ahead and just leave that overnight. You don't need to do anything else. If you're cleaning the rest of your machine, you can carry on doing the inside, but as far as this goes, leave this to work its magic before you go any further with the clean. Now let's move on to the rubber seal. So our multi-surface cleaner has sat here for a while now. I do actually quite like the fact that this method one that I've just used, it actually, it says on there that it's got no fragrance and it really hasn't, it just doesn't smell like anything and I don't actually mind that. So now we've got that on, go ahead and just give it a really good scrub around inside the actual seal. You can use vinegar as well from time to time on the rubber seal. Don't use it too often though because it can over time begin to um, damage the rubber seal. So you don't want to use this really, really regularly. You're better off actually using a uh, multi-surface cleaner to get rid of the grime and then running the vinegar through a hot wash, just one cup of vinegar on a really hot wash within the machine. This is going to clean your machine out. Or you can go ahead and use baking soda, which we are going to be using in this video shortly. we are going to take some Sephora or something of the equivalent. If you've got Dettol or any kind of disinfectant, go ahead and use that. And with one of these barbecue skewers, you can use toothpicks. I prefer to use these just because they're a lot more sturdier. Go ahead and just dip it into the solution like I'm doing, just so the tip of it is slightly wet. And with this, we are going to run it along all of these little crevices where our cloths won't really be good enough to get any of the gunk out. So I can already see the detergent and gunk that that's pulling off the drawer just on the camera. Can you see that? And we don't want that sitting there lingering. And like I said, to the eye, you wouldn't really notice it was there until you go in with one of these. But once you go in with one of these, you can pull out quite a lot of stuff from there. So let's go on the top one now. Oh my God, that's so satisfying.
we are going to do for a pristine, clean and bacteria free washing machine is we're gonna add some baking soda to our detergent drawer. Then on top of that, we are going to go in with some tea tree oil. We're gonna use about 10 drops for this. This stuff is so good within the washing machines. So if you can grab some of this, it's super cheap. You can pick it up for like a pound, guys. But it's so, so good and it smells so nice. So we've got our drops of tea tree oil in there now and then we're gonna put it on our hottest wash cycle. So for me, this will be a 95 degree wash cycle. This is gonna make sure that it gets rid of any germs and bacteria within the machine. This is a really important thing to do at least once a month to maintain your washing machine. You don't want the pipes and stuff in your washing machine getting clogged up over time. So make sure you do, if you do nothing else, run a hygiene wash at least once a month. And we'll pop that on now. And that is all you need to do to get the hidden areas of dirt in your washing machine. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. If you are new here and you would like some cleaning tips and tricks, then go ahead and click subscribe and also click the bell notification. This will notify you next time we upload a new vlog. Let me know in the comments guys what you would like to see cleaned under the microscope next time. And until then guys, as always, Keep it clean. Bye, guys.